you wait and see. Gavin Newsom is going to be the nominee, and you better keep an eye on him. You better keep an eye. He fits. He checks every box. It's exa- he's exactly what the Democrats are going to need to, to beat back a Republican challenge in 2024. Here he was yesterday, this is the other day, I guess, giving a speech, and he took out an ad. I think the ad ran in Florida. Who paid for that ad? I, the state of California, they're running TV spots in Florida saying, hey, Floridians, if you're tired of Ron DeSantis, come to the land of freedom. Come to California. What? What in the heck? So here's Gavin Newsom. Again, the other day, ripping into Florida and Governor Ron DeSantis. But I do believe education is under assault in ways that I've never experienced in my lifetime. But I think we're living in as it relates to the assault of our freedom of expression, speech. The meme of the moment, well, maybe it's no longer the moment, was something called critical race theory. There was this guy, Tucker, so I, I'm trying to just understand what it is. Of course, it, if it's happening, it has to be happening in California, but I'm the governor of California. I don't know what it is. It must be occurring on the basis of how everybody's jumping over themselves to ban it. But the real meme of the moment seems to be no longer CRT. It seems to be something called social emotional learning. God forbid. Coincidental, 42 children's books banned, 42 books specifically by, forgive me, the Board of Education in Florida, because it included social emotional learning. You wait and see. He's going to be the nominee, and you better take him seriously. We can laugh at him. Tucker can laugh it off. Adam Carolla can talk about cats being repelled by him because they can sense instinctively that he is um, an awful person. I, I, listen, it, it isn't going to work to go personal with this guy. He'll get beat on policy. He should get beat on policy. He should get beat on ideology. He is a, another whack job, progressive Democrat. You better take him seriously. I'm just telling you. Don't look past this guy. Because when you sit around and wonder what young, younger at least, fresh-faced Democrat will carry the torch. It's not Joe Biden. 100%. There is absolutely no way. We all know it. This is a one-term president. Period. No way Joe Biden. I Listen, I hope he makes it through the first term. Not because of what he's doing to the country. I deplore what he's doing to the country. I despise what he's doing to the country. I just don't want anybody to die in office or get sick or whatever. He's an old man, and he's obviously struggling. He's struggling mightily. I hope he makes it to 2024. I pray for his health. I really do. You should, too. But I also pray you don't look past Gavin Newsom. It isn't going to be Kamala Harris. She's a joke. It isn't Pete Buttigieg. He's done nothing. Couldn't even fix the potholes in South Bend. And he sure isn't doing any kind of a job as the transportation secretary. It's going to be Gavin Newsom. And he's going to be a very serious contender. 